Hi, I'm Katherine Johns from BizBuzz on the Linked Local Network, and Sue Becker is with me today, and boy am I glad because I need her help. Sue is the principal at From Piles to Smiles, and she's an organizer. I, I don't even know where to start, because I'm not organized, right? I hear right? that from a lot of my clients. I bet you do. They call me, so yeah. where do people start? If I just said, okay, I want to get more organized, especially in my business, how would you tell me to begin? I would tell you to figure out what bothers you the most. What area, I, I can never find my bills and they're not getting paid on time. I'm constantly looking for client files. I'm constantly forgetting to return phone calls. Whatever it is that maybe bothers you the most is where you should start. And when you look at whatever that problem is, you want to assess the why behind it. So the problem's the symptom, you need to dig in and find out what's causing that. So let's just say a hypothetical person that I might know has a really messy desk. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And she pretty much knows where things are. If you asked for a certain item, she could kind of estimate where in that pile it would be. But it's really time consuming to go through all that, always having to search and having, you know? So if messy desk is the issue, how do we fix it? Well, I would suggest that it's not messy desk, but the fact that messy desk is causing you to spend a lot of time looking for things. You? What? what? <laughs> Oops, did I say that? Oh, sorry. I didn't okay. mean to imply, but really it's you know, it's what works it for you. So if it's, it, I used to work with a man who had three foot piles on his desk and he knew where things were. So it's really how to make that functional for you. But my experience is it gets out of control. Mm -hmm. Like there's a certain point where yeah. I function well with a messy desk because I can find things in the piles. But then it gets to a point where it's so bad because it's kind of, it feels like, I don't even know how to make this, put it in order. Yeah. So. What do I need? Do I need files? Do I need boxes? Do I need yeah. to throw things away? Probably all, all of the above. Yeah. But what you need to do is, is to dig in and figure out what's the next action I need to take on each piece of paper. And is it to toss it, to file it, to act on it? And if it's especially something you need to act on, you want to figure out where can I put this so that I'll remember to act on it, but I can't possibly have everything I need to act on in view. So you need to integrate your time management tool in there and say, maybe I'll put it on my calendar to remember, and then I'll put this piece of paper. My time I management to tool? I'm supposed to have Oops. a tool? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of time management tools are so there So that could be people? Outlook. Okay. You know, if you want to do something gotcha. electronic or a paper planner or mm -hmm. just even a master to-do list. Mm -hmm. Just some place that you've got a reminder of what needs to be done and it's all in one place rather than visually spread out all over your desk. Do you find that people whose business is kind of cluttery or disorganized are like that in their personal life as well? Typically, but on the same token, sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes really? they can be very organized at work because there's some structure involved there, or they have other people helping them at work, like an administrative assistant. And then in their home life, not so much. There's no rules and things are typically more out of control there. Now, I know that you are, you describe yourself as a recovering CPA. Yes. I love that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you were always kind of organized, buttoned down, is that right? Pretty much. I don't know the buttoned down part, but definitely organized. But organized. Yeah. So what made you decide that you could make a living out of being organized or helping other people get organized? It was a desperate hope that it would work uh, because truly I was just fed up with the corporate world and uh, with the support of my husband and a good friend, jumped into it and I think my organization helped me be organized and running and starting my own business. So if you had to pick one tip, like if I were going to make a New Year's resolution, because mm -hmm. it's almost time to start pondering those, that would help me be more organized in my business life, not just me, but everybody else yeah. who's listening too, what would that be? Be purposeful. When you touch a piece of paper, when you open an email, do something purposeful with it that moves it along on its journey. Even if you aren't sure exactly where it's going to end up, don't just put it down. And if we needed help, we'd probably come to you. How would we find you? Uh, my website is piles2smiles.com and my phone number is 630-724-1111. And her name is Sue Becker. And I'm Katherine Johns from BizBuzz on the Linked Local Network. Link locally, connect globally.